Hey guys, Brett here, and today we are playing FNAF 6. Which is an actual FNAF game. I'm Jewish, so I'm not putting pepperoni or sausage, I'm just putting... It's olive pepper. You put onions on pizza? Olive mushroom is my favorite pizza, so I'll do that. What? This isn't supposed to happen? Yeah, I beat the game! We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Just kidding. It's FNAF 6. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three. Two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions. Following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Now I'm in one of those lazy workers that's on their phone, which doesn't care, so we're going for the lazy run first. Document results. Now do I have to? Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. Hey, draw an XFS. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. 
With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure <laughs> that customers come back. <laughs> Bonus revenue. Yeah, before I was recording, a, games before I was recording a video and I got terrified because... Day, which means more money in your pocket. Ready for reinvestment. I was location. I, Health and safety. I smelled a there fart that was mine. I was just like, something of questionable the quality. fuck? I, I'm alone here. You. Cutting corners is just good business. <laughs> but there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. Which is confirmed to be the this case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride, and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. <laughs> the ending. I'm ready, but I'm not doing any of that. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. Okay. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, do I you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Back. I need to check on something. Before I said I smelled a fart and it didn't smell in mine. So I wanted to make sure no one was in my room secretly. <laughs> Six. Seven. Eight. Ten.
Who's the clown? I actually said the, the book's answer that the clown is just a clown. Why is there a drawing of Lefty? Wait a minute, how are these pins in? It's a steel wall. How do you have thumbtacks in? Game doesn't make sense. Can 0 out of 10. Never seen carrots so wet. Imagine there was vents under you too. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Congratulations on <sighs> do this now. However, I'm not actually being lazy, I'm playing the lazy ending. Join me, you the head. Your end of day routine. I'm doing the lazy ending. And that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics. Oh. Don't forget Saturday. Sorry, killing Goff, you're not joining the party. In one place. How did I get a lawsuit? I'm going to be bankrupt. See, a young... Oh, we're going to get the bankruptcy ending for... <laughs> Parents unit against unsafe atrocities and mechanical abomination plaintiff. V. Batman Entertainment, Inc. Defendant. Complaint civil number... And a number at some point. Judge Monetary Soul. Plaintiff Parents Union Against Unsafe Atrocities and Mechanical Abominations. Puma. <laughs> Wait, Puma. Amo. Hereby complains against defendant Fazbear Entertainment Inc. and seeks relief as follows. 1. A young boy suffered debilitating external internal injuries because of the conduct distributed by Fazbear Entertainment Inc. He broke 100 bones and suffered internal bleeding while patronizing Fazbear Entertainment Inc. Although he didn't notice broken arms until he got home, his parents believe Fazbear Entertainment should still answer for his injuries. Fazbear Entertainment Inc. recklessly endangered this young man and ultimately caused him extreme grievance harm. The failure to comply with capital state statutes and regulations providing the running of entertainment at the facility. But for such negligence, per se, on um, part of Fazbear Entertainment, he would not have suffered unusual harm. Well, I, I don't have enough money. <laughs> Negative four hundred ninety per dollar. You gave it your best shot. You went all no, in. No, it's You put the all your eggs into one basket and did the unthinkable. You ran out of cash. While we encourage entrepreneurs to follow their dreams, we also recognize a lost cause when we see one. There are no do-overs, and we trust that you know your way out. But before you go, take this certificate of bankruptcy. Now do everyone a favor and get lost. No, that didn't just happen. The game is closed. I got the bankruptcy ending. Oh, what a game!
I just got the bankruptcy ending. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> I'm putting an Allen key in my hair. I just got the bankruptcy ending. I've always never seen anyone get the bankruptcy ending, and then I got it. <sighs> what time to reload the game? My webcam is always in the bottom left corner because I don't like you guys seeing my Steam notifications. I could launch them backwards. Freddy's like, yeet, 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 yeet. He's just dabbing the pizzas backwards. That's what it looks like. Now it says Corona. Kidding. And then if we reload the game. The certificate of bankruptcy. <laughs> I got the certificate of bankruptcy. Really? I'm gonna end this video here. See you guys next time. Goodbye!